What up, what up? Wimbush here. And today I want to show you guys how we can make the rainfall matrix effects absolutely free using particle illusion. So without further ado, let's jump right into it. So the first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go to BorisFX.com. This is where you're going to download particle illusion. The standalone version is absolutely free. And so I'll leave this link down in the comments below and I'll pin it for you guys so you can see it. And then once you guys have particle illusion downloaded and installed this is going to be the first thing that you guys see whenever you open up particle illusion and so right here you have a splash screen saying download the additional free emitters you're definitely going to want to do this because the matrix effect is actually a preset that's in here and it makes it super easy to make this effect and so down here in the lower left hand corner let me move this up a little bit so we can see it but right here where it says download you'll definitely want to click on that it's going to take you back to the boris effects website where it's going to have you download some extra emitters but once you download that you just install it and you'll be good to go so i'm going to exit this out right here and then we actually have like a search function up here in the top left so whenever you open up particle illusion by default it will usually come up with this type of library view i like using this one in the squares just so i can better see all the different illusion particles that i'm going to have here the one that we want is called matrix fall if you can't find it you can always search for it right here like if you type in matrix there we go so we see it there and we see a little preview window up in the left hand corner as well and so that just shows you the different particle effects that we have access to in here so i'm going to use this one the matrix fall so i'm going to double click on this one and once we do we start seeing this attribute window pop up right here so let me move this over a little bit because i just want to mess with the attributes from here and you'll also see inside of our viewport we're going to have a line here and so what i like to do is move my time code a little bit so i can see which direction it's going and then i'll just start left clicking in here and so let me left click right there and then i'm going to hit exit and that's going to stop me from making more points and so right here this one in the middle this is the emitter center point. I'm going to do is left click and hold, and then I'm just going to drag this up to the middle. And then I'm just going to drag these endpoints off to the side, like so. And there we go. So if I scroll through here, you can see we have the matrix effects, and we can actually go through the attributes window to customize this a little bit more. So the first thing I'm going to do is come over to properties, and where it says number of points, instead of seven, I'm going to maybe pick like 20, just to fill it in a little bit more there, which looks cool. And then down here under number, I'm going to actually move this up a little bit. It's going to add more numbers per vertical line here. Then I could maybe bring up the sizing just a tiny bit. And then a the velocity, I'm going to raise it up so it extends the window a little bit more here. So as I play through this, you can see that it's going all the way to the bottom. We have a cool fade off here at the bottom as well. And so I would suggest, you know, whatever effect that you're going for, just come through and play with all these different attributes here. The matrix one's already preset and good for us to go, which is really cool. So you just go in here, kind of customize it to your needs. And before I get ready to render out, let me make sure that my project settings is actually set up to what I like, because I usually like working in 60 FPS. And so I'm going to come up here to view and then I'm going to come down to project settings. Just going to make sure my frame rate was already at 60 which it already was because that's what i was working in previously you can set your duration here as well for my screen size i'm just going to keep it at hd for now and if you want you can enable motion blur but i'm going to leave it at default for this one so i'm actually just going to click apply here and let's say that we're happy with this effect we want to render this out so right here in the lower right hand corner i'm going to hit this render button and then this brings up our window for rendering attributes window and so right here under output i'm actually going to click on browse just going to put it onto my desktop here click save and then right here from my export range i have it at about 400 frames here which is fine for my preset you could come down here you can see the different pre-res settings maybe i do 422 hq something like that and everything else looks pretty good my frame rate 60 frames per second then the channels i'm going to do rgb but you do have the option of doing alpha if that's what you want so i'm going to leave it on rgb and i'm just going to click start render and you can see that it's working in real time it's working extremely fast here it's almost done with the render actually and then once you're done it's pretty much just going to make an MPEG for you guys and you can use it in your projects as you see fit. And there you have it. There's the matrix effect. It was quick and easy. We used the preset within particle illusion. We just changed a couple of attributes to our needs and there we go. So quick and easy. We have the particle illusion, which is a free standalone and it has a whole bunch of other particle effects in there as well. So since it's free, I would suggest download it, try it out and see for yourself. 
So hopefully this helped you guys out. I know the Matrix is hot right now. We have the Matrix Awakening Unreal Engine Experience, which you can watch on my channel. We have the Matrix movie that's coming out here pretty soon. And so there's going to be a lot more talk around the Matrix. And so I wanted to put this together for you guys in case you want to use it in your own projects. And so if this does help you out, make sure you leave me a comment down below. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. And if you're interested in any of the other Boris effects, make sure you use my affiliate link down in the description below. It helps me out a lot. And until next time, stay fresh keep creating and i see you guys in the next video i see you soon take care what up what up Wimbush here